Okay, so we're going to play through some parts of in C. Uh, you might notice that the tempo marking here is 90, so we should adjust our metronomes, and we should be practicing with a metronome so that we're ready to all play together at the same time. There we go, 90. I'm just going to hit play. Listen to these clicks. Um, I'll just go through it and then uh, play, and you can see which notes I hit. Um, this is actually in 4 4, so if you know you want it to be accurate, you'd, you'd do it in three, though you might notice that this measure is going to have, what, eight beats in it, and this measure actually only has two beats in it, so is it really in three, four? I guess, I guess, I guess it is in three, four because he told us it is, um, but it'll just sort of loop in a kind of a funny overlapping way, you know, sort of the way the, the trimesters overlap with the semester, and they meet at the beginning, and then they get funky in the middle, and then they meet again at the next year, and etc. That's called polyrhythms. Anyway, let's just play some, some uh, motifs. So this is one, and I'm just like barely hitting uh, the C on the bottom there, mostly playing an E, and I'm using my keyboard, so I'm hitting a D on the computer, but this is an E. Okay, let's move on to number two. Oh no, my metronome went away. Come back. Oh, I got to the end of the song. Oops, let's put a loop on. Oh, well, you can also just get a metronome app way easier than using GarageBand. Um, probably also easier to not use your computer keyboard, right? Hopefully you're using a melodica or like a real piano or uh, another instrument. Okay, we're going to move on to three. Um, and notice the little eighth rest at the beginning. So we're going to do a little pause. Here's two. So you like listen to the metronome, right? And then you start. Now we go up. Here's four. Uh, and syncopated, right? Up on the on the upbeat, not on the downbeat. And you'll notice five is the same notes, but you start on the downbeat, and it's really hard to play and talk at the same time. Okay, now I'm playing five. A little subtle shift there. There's me singing four. Okay, finally we get to do six. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So the the line between the two whole notes means you hold it for uh, the whole time, basically. That's called a tie. And these are whole notes, so I'm holding them for four counts. Now let's try number seven, just for the fun of it. Um, so we got three quarter rests and then a little eighth rest, so we're going to do a nice syncopation. And then uh, one on the downbeat, and then it's going to be eight measures still. Actually, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's got like a lot of quarter rests. Two, three, four, five. Um, and actually, look at this next one. We got a dotted. We're just gonna do the first seven for now. Maybe we can do the rest later. Okay, get practicing. <laughs> 